First question is from Carly Latessa. How often should you be adding weight to your routine? Uh, I get this question all the time. Okay, so obviously it depends on the person. Here's the deal, okay? And I want to say this is very clear. There are many, many ways to increase the tension or the, the, the difficulty of an exercise. Adding weight is one of them. So if you go into a workout and you're stronger and you want to add weight, one thing you can do is slow down your reps, which will actually produce a very similar effect and actually probably improve your form and reduce your risk of injury. Adding weight, in my opinion, for most people is one of those things that I reserve for later. So when I'm training a client and I notice that they're stronger, I just have them perfect their form or slow down first. Once everything is in, uh, you know, all the pieces are, are in play, this, we've done this now for a few weeks, and everything looks perfect, they've slowed down the reps, they're controlling things, they're going maybe a little deeper on their squat or whatever, then I'll add the weight. So the answer to this is you should increase the intensity or, or of your workout whenever possible, but within those parameters I talked about. That would that would be my answer. Well, what's, uh, Doug, what was the name of the episode? I think it was eight or nine ways to progressively overload. We did an episode. I would refer this person to that, first of all, to, mm. to your point, Sal. Yeah. Uh, and I remember training clients, right? So mm. it, it really it really would depend on where this person's level of fitness is at because mm -hmm. uh, tempo, rest periods, rep range, um, those things I would much rather manipulate that before I start to add weight to the bar mm -hmm. for most clients. Totally. Now, let's pretend I'm training somebody who's got 10 plus years and they're super advanced, different story. Yeah. I, I definitely want to add weight to the bar and I'm, I'm going to push that. Although even that person, I'm still manipulating those other things too. Mm -hmm. I just would avoid adding weight to the bar if it's someone who's brand new and I think our form is not like perfect. For right, I want right. that. I want to perfect that and get that down really well before I start loading. Yeah. Unless I have like a real competitive, like power lifter type client where their you know entire goal is to, you know, keep increasing the the amount of load that they can, uh, you know, you know, try and achieve. And so, uh, yeah, it, it's way better to kind of assess like, um, how much control you have, how, how great your form is like, uh, and, and then like manipulate all those other variables first. But, uh, you know, like increasing load is just another, another one of those things that, uh, you got to consider in order to gain more strength. Right. And now this is other strategy that's kind of interesting that I've played with in the past. That was very effective. This was a, a strategy that was employed by some of the Eastern Bloc um, strength athletes. So this is during the, the when the Soviet Union was a thing and they were dominating in some of the weightlifting sports and we didn't know how they were training. It was what's called the Iron Curtain. So nobody was sharing training secrets or whatever. Of course, when the Soviet Union uh, you know, collapsed, we got a lot of their coaches and we learned about some of these training techniques. One of them is very interesting is you pick a weight. Let's say... Uh, for me, you know, let's say deadlifting 315, 315 pounds for eight reps is like 80% intensity, right? So, which is a good intensity to train with. So today I do eight reps with 315. I do that exact same thing for the next, I don't know, five or six weeks, even if the intensity continues to drop because I'm getting stronger. So I go next week, I do eight reps, but now it feels like it's 75% intensity. doesn't matter. I stay at eight reps. Then the next week, then the, you do this for about five or six weeks. The weight gets real easy. Then you add a lot of weight mm -hmm. rather than adding weight each time. It's a very interesting strategy. I've actually messed with this in the past and I get tremendous strength gains from doing it. Well, the, the reason is because when the weight gets really heavy, the first thing to go is form. Yeah. And it takes a lot of discipline to still maintain form while struggling to push through a weight. So that's the, I mean, you, to your point about training that way, even what you're, you're practicing, you're practicing, you're getting the mechanics down so well so that when you do start to load the bar and you start to struggle, you don't break form. Totally. If you take a person who's just, like, just teaching them how to deadlift or squat or any of these movements and all right, we're getting a little bit of traction. I'm feeling stronger, Adam. Let's add some weight. As soon as I add weight, it's like putting them right back down to square one again because they've only got five, six weeks of training, and right. now I just I've made it at max intensity for them. Their form's going to break down. Right now, there's always there's this other strategy which is which is opposite, but also very interesting, where you get incremental weights. Have you guys ever messed with these before? Well, two and, and a fractional half. weights. Fra yeah. They're even smaller. They're like yeah, they're, they're like, like magnets. Yeah. And you you literally will go up every week half a pound. 
and you just every week you I, I, I like this approach it is it is kind of like a, I don't know it's kind of annoying that you know like it's it's little tiny bits of load that mm-hmm. you don't even really notice but it's over time I mean you start adding that up and like before you know it like you've gained like I don't know like 20 30 pounds exactly. to that weight now the only reason why I like the other strategy that you first mentioned Sal better is because what we know is that you have uh, two days of not the best sleep you calories weren't up all the way a little bit of stress in your life and i don't care how good your programming is and your training consistency is those other factors play a role in how strong you're in your workout and so inevitably you could easily come into a week and be weaker than the week before and it's not because you're not programming well it's just that there's other factors that contribute to strength totally yeah 